during his time back in the 19 early 1900s uh, like for example lip gloss was first created by max factor today most brands uh, are making lip gloss as well as concealer was created by max factor so there are a lot of innovative things that we have a lot of different things so today i'm just going to show you a look that you all can do for bridal makeup and if you have any questions you can um, ask me post the session yeah this is sayami she is the brand manager for max factor so she'll be giving you all little details on the products as well uh, so we'll start um, basically for bridal you need very very clean skin so cleansing toning moisturizing that is important before you use any makeup because if the skin is not clean the skin is not free of makeup that has been used previously you are never going to see a glow you are never going to see the actual skin looking healthy yeah so harmeet is our model uh, she has cleansed toned and moisturized her skin the first thing that i'm going to start with is foundation now depending on your bride's skin foundations can vary if you have somebody with very clear skin you can go for a very light base something that looks very natural because what we need to see is the real skin underneath not a mask that you're wearing and then once it's taken out you look completely different okay so i'm going to start with max factor second skin foundation the reason it's called second skin is because it actually feels like your own skin uh, the product contains 60 percent water in it so that's almost the level of water content in our skin so it makes the skin look very healthy it has a very semi matte finish so you can also see a glow the skin doesn't look very flat what i'll do is the easy way to start is to just tap the skin in the center of the face because that's where you generally need maximum coverage is in the center of the face using your fingers is the best tool in makeup because the blend the blending is much easier because of your body heat so starting at the center i'm just going to blend it in you can also use a brush that's very uh it's a personal preference what you prefer to use always apply a very thin layer of foundation you can always go back with more if you feel you need coverage in certain areas while blending the foundation just keep in mind the hairline area the nose uh, nasolabial grooves and the blending is the most important of all in your entire makeup the blending of the foundation has to be the best always go down to the neck of course for the bride you will go down all the way as low as her uh, neckline is so that you don't get a masked effect once you're done with the face depending on how much of concealer a bride requires um you can go with something that's thicker or you can go with something that's much lighter in texture of course because she has not very dark circles i'm going to go in with the foundation itself because it also gives a little bit of concealing i'm going to go in with the foundation and then just lightly dab it under her eyes close going over the eyelid because it generally tends to be a little darker than the rest of the face Yeah. 
into the hollow of the chin now i'm just going to set the foundation with a translucent press powder this is max factor's cream puff cream puff was launched way back in 1953 it is one of our best sellers uh the texture of cream puff is slightly satiny so it's not going to give you a complete matte finish it's got light diffusing particles in it so it's going to make the skin look very healthy i'm going to start with the t zone and then whatever's left on the brush i'm just going to buff it around the skin close close this is one of the fastest selling compact across a lot of countries and as she said it's since 1853 uh, this uh, 1953 this was there and still uh, rocking with the women they love the formula and that's the reason we haven't changed the formula we've come up with a new packaging in gold color cream puff press powder now i'm going to move on to blush giving her very light soft cheeks okay using a pink classic rose blush that is a flawless perfection blush that we are using on her which is available with max factor it goes from the apples of the cheek and then you can just blend it outward Now moving on to the eyes. What I'm going to do is firstly I'm going to give her cream shadow around the eyelid because that is going to make any powders that we put on top of it stay on much longer. It is also going to intensify the powder. So I'm using our smoky effect eye eye pencil and this is in bronze. Okay, it has it's a very uh, innovative product. You can do smoky eyes in one go with this one. it has one light shade and one dark shade yeah the light shade is always round so that it goes all over the eye and the dark shade is slightly pointed so you can create the outer crease without having to really blend it too much so starting with the light shade i'm going to go all over the eye and it's really easy to blend you can just blend it with your finger so you get two eye shadows in one product for make giving a instant smoky look as everyone desires these days you can uh, just highlight the corners with the darker shade and blend the lighter shade all over the eyelid Moving on to the darker shade, I'm just going to create the outer V with it. It's really soft and creamy, so very easy to apply. And I'm just going to go over the lash line a little bit. Now I'm just going to blend it so it all looks like one. It's cream so it's going to hold on to the powder and make it last all day. Taking a little bit of a uh, 
lime kind of gold color. This is Max Factor's Dip in Eyeshadow. Very easy to use. It comes with a sponge applicator. So you just go right through the eye that way. I'm taking a little bit of that and I'm going to go over the inner part of the eye. The key is to blend all the colors in properly. It should not be seen where it started and where it ended, the eyeshadow. So you have to just blend all the colors together. And here she's used two products, one smoky eyes effect pencil and the dip in eyeshadow in which we have beautiful colors which give you a, a very nice finish. And a lot of very, pop very long colors. lasting eggs also. Now to give the eye a little depth, I'm going to use a darker shade and this is in our mono eyeshadows and this is just going to go in the outer corner of the eye and you can drag it out as much as you'd like. You can do a classic look where it's more rounded at the corners. Or you can do a little more dramatic where you just pull it out towards the eyebrow. That's the Max Factor Mono eyeshadow that she used just now, the darker shade. Then I'm going to take a highlighter and this I'm going to use very sparingly just below the brow. Now taking a cold pencil, I'm going to smudge it across the upper waterline to create a more soft, sultry look. The cold pencil is really soft, it gives a lot of intensity as well. Taking a brush, I'm just going to smudge it slightly because I want it to look really soft and romantic. Open. Close. Close. The pencil is used to define the eyes. And uh, all our products are available at the Max Factor counter that is uh, somewhere close to the entrance. Open. Just put a little coal in the inner waterline. And just to create a little more depth, you can go with the darker color, look up. And create a little more depth to the eye. Look, that's it. That effect again, she's creating with a mono eyeshadow. Just brushing it below the eyelashes. Close. Close. 
Now the key is a lot of mascara because mascara is really going to open up the eyes. It's going to make the eyes look a lot bigger and more dreamy. Close. So what you need to do is go to the base of the lashes, zigzag and then push upward because this is going to lift the lashes and curl them as well. What I'm using is uh, Max Factor's False Lash Effect Fusion Mascara. This mascara gives you volume as well as length. As the name suggests, False Lash Effect. It gives you the effect of false lashes. It's just fantastic. One stroke and your lashes are done. Going to the base and working my way upward to lift the lashes. You can see the volume of the lashes has almost doubled and uh, beautiful volume as well as length you can get with this Open. mascara for slash effect. Look up. Since we have put eyeshadow in the bottom lash line, I'm just going to add a little bit of mascara. At this point, if you feel you require a little more blush, you can just go ahead and add a little more. I'm going to go ahead and put some lipstick on. I'm using a red. This is one of our fast moving colors called Scarlet Ghost. It's from the line of Color Elixir lipsticks. It's Color Elixir because it's Makeup Plus Skin Care. This product contains 60% of moisturizers in it. It has Shea Butter that will hydrate the lips. It has Vitamin E as well, which, will, which works as an antioxidant. So any kind of darkness in the lips or uh, uh, discoloration of the lips will be... If you use this lipstick for 7 days in a row, the texture of the lips changes, the feel of the lips changes. I don't want the lips to be too defined because we have defined the eyes. But you can't really go with a very nude color. So we just want to give it a little bit of color. Smush. This is the color Scarlet Ghost for, uh, from Color Elixir Lipsticks. As the name suggests, Elixir, it's Elixir for your lips and makes them softer in seven days of use. Open slightly. Smush. Just to give the lips a little bit of pout, I'm using our cube glosses. just in the center to create a little dimension for the lips. That is a cube gloss from Max Factor that she just used. And now I'm just going to take um, cream puff press powder and just going to complete it. Just to clean, clean up a little bit. And that's the finished look.
Anybody has any questions? You can ask any questions that you want to ask on the brand, on the application or on the makeup products. Okay, thank you. Thank you for attending the session so patiently. Can we please have a round of applause as we uh, share this token of appreciation from Aaron? Can we please have a round of applause? Come on, guys, we can be louder, Delhi. Come on. Thank you so much. Thank you.